Welcome back to the Aviatrix Demo Day video series. And in this episode, I want to first level set what we are going to build by the end of the series. This diagram depicts a multi-cloud network architecture that we're going to build out with the Aviatrix controller and gateways. There's going to be three transits, two in AWS, one in EU West 1 and one in EU West 2, and then a third transit in Azure West US 2 region. We'll also be building out the spokes and attaching them to their appropriate transits, configuring Aviatrix multi-cloud network segmentation, spinning up firewalls in the transits in AWS, and then connecting back to on-prem via a Aviatrix site to cloud VPN. Some of this will be done via the UI and some of it will be done via Terraform. Let's get started by building out the Azure Transit and Spoke and connecting them to each other. I have most of this demo recorded so that I can fast forward through certain sections. So let's get started. We're going to build out the Azure West Transit and Spoke via the UI. The first thing you need to do is go to the multi-cloud transit section, click on setup, and then we're going to install transit gateways in that Azure VNet. Now, I recommend you create that VNet ahead of time using the Aviatrix build a VNet tool under the useful tools section. So you select the cloud type, you give that transit gateway a name, You select the account you want to place that transit into. I only have one in this case. Select the region, and then it's going to parse the VNets and resource groups and tell you what's available and where you can place that transit. So we're going to put it into the transit VNet that I created earlier using the tool that Aviatrix provides. And then I'll select a public subnet to place my first transit gateway. You can also select the size. I just left it default. And then everything else you can leave default and hit create. Now behind the scenes, this is doing a lot of work, pushing a lot of API calls, configuring the instances, configuring interfaces, public IPs, configuring UDRs, resource groups, security rules, everything you can imagine is doing for you. Done. We'll move on to making that transit HA. And it's as simple as selecting the gateway you just deployed, selecting an alternate subnet and hitting enable. And what it does is it creates a second transit gateway and connects them to each other and brings them up as active active and they're forwarding and pushing traffic just like that. All done. Let's take a look at what we built. You can click the list section under transit tab. You can see what I've deployed. I'm just going to sort by Azure and you can see here I created that Azure West Transit Gateway and it also created the HA Gateway and appends HAGW to the name of the gateway for you so you know that it's the HA Gateway. The next step is to go down to the spoke section and we're also going to put Aviatrix spoke gateways into the Azure VNet that I've created before this video. So give the gateway a name. It's the exact same process. You did it once with the transit gateways and now we're doing it with spokes. Select the region, select the VNet and resource group. We'll select a public subnet to put that gateway into. We'll select the gateway size and just hit create everything else can stay default there it goes now of course this is sped up a bit all done we're also going to make that spoke gateway HA so we'll pick the gateway we just deployed select the alternate subnet and hit enable and it'll do the exact same thing it did to the transit side and enable HA for you all done let's go take a look at what we just deployed click list again Click the spoke tab this time. We'll search for the Azure spoke we just deployed. Bam, there it is. And there's the HA gateway as well. All right, the next step is to connect that spoke we just deployed to the Aviatrix transit in Azure. So it's 6A, step 6A, we select the spoke we deployed, we select the transit we deployed, and we click attach. Simple as that. It's building all the IPsec connections, all the routing, everything you need to get that transit connectivity to work. Let's go back to list and see what we deployed. Click the spoke section and we can take a look at those spokes and also see what transit they're connected to. So you have a nice operational visibility here to see who's connected to who. 
And that's it for this episode. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one where we build out the AWS transits and the firewalls that go in those transits. And we do all of it via Terraform. Thanks for watching.